Hey folks, Alex McMahon here of Evolve Nutritional Therapy. Today we're going to be continuing on in video 4 of our series on why we crave sugar. The topic for today is going to be more of the psychological reasons that we're craving sugar. In the previous video we covered more of the physiological reasons, things that had to do with diet, lifestyle, sleep. So today it's going to be more of the uh, habits and routines and things that are causing you to crave sugar in that manner. So the very first thing we're going to talk about is going to be environmental triggers. These are anything in or around your environment that you're in uh, that you're in on a daily basis that actually kind of causes you to crave sugar. So this could be something as simple as a coworker's desk that you have to walk by to get to your own, and they have a clear candy dish that's filled with peanut butter M&Ms, your absolute favorite. You sit there all day long with those peanut butter M&Ms around you, your willpower slowly draining, and at the end of the day, you always end up grabbing at least one handful. So if that environmental trigger was completely removed, such as that candy dish was filled with steamed broccoli, I pretty much guarantee that you wouldn't be stopping by and you wouldn't be thinking about it as much. So it's kind of an out of sight, out of mind kind of deal for some people. So it, their environment is actually playing a very big role in their increased or decreased sugar craving. So if you can take things and remove them from your environment that you know are going to cause a roadblock, that's actually a really good idea and a very good strategy. The second thing is going to be um, an emotional or associative craving with sugar. So a simple example of this would be if someone has any kind of emotional attachment or they associate any kind of food that they eat um, with a specific kind of sugar or you know processed carbohydrate. So it could be comfort foods that you ate with your family and you so you always associate all the family gatherings with a certain kind of comfort food that you really relish and like and then you move away from your family to a completely different state and you find yourself suddenly craving that food not because you actually want the food but you want the feelings that you associate with that family member. Could be something like every Sunday you used to get ice cream um, with your grandfather and you had a really close very personal tie with your grandfather you have a lot of really fond memories and he passed away a few years ago and now you find yourself craving Sunday every Tuesday and that happened to be the day that you went and got ice cream with him. You're not even a huge fan of ice cream but you find yourself craving it. These are the kinds of things that are um, an emotional or an associative craving. You're actually looking for some kind of emotional bond or an emotional tie that you have with something and you are thinking that by consuming the sugar or the processed carbohydrate you will achieve that feeling that you once associated with that person or thing or event. Um, the last one is going to be your basic habits and routines. So um, a common example would be if someone was driving home from work every day and they drove by a Starbucks and always stopped and got a vanilla latte with, you know, 16 pumps of sugar or whatever they have in them these days. Um, I would bet that that very same person, if they chose a different path driving home that didn't go by a Starbucks, that they wouldn't stop for vanilla latte anywhere. That's just part of it. Is If you can take your environment and you can make it something on your own, that really um, helps you to avoid any of those things that you know are going to trigger a sugar craving for you, that's usually the wisest bet. So as always, if you'd like to connect with me, you can find me on Instagram at Evolve Nutritional Therapy. You can find me on Twitter at Evolve NT PDX, or you can also find me, uh, you can email me at Evolve NT period PDX at gmail.com. Take care and I will talk to you soon.